The reason we use gratitude, by the way, is the two emotions that mess us up most is anger and fear. And you know, you can't be grateful and angry simultaneously. It's the antidote. Put both your hands on your heart and physically breathe deep into your heart. And as you're breathing deep in your heart, feel the strength of your heart. Feel the power of your heart. Feel the beauty of your heart. What are you proud or grateful that your heart has guided you to do or to give or to feel or to enjoy? And feel the strength of your heart. Breathe into it. Feel the blood flow, the oxygen. And feel grateful for your heart first. Because think about it. You didn't have to earn this heart. It was given to you. You didn't have to prove your value or your worth. You didn't have to accomplish anything. Something loved you enough to give you the gift of life. And as long as this heart is beating, you have that gift and you live. And you don't have to think about it. What a gift. So as you breathe in your heart, feeling your powerful heart, I want you just for a moment, we're going to think of three, but just think first of one event in your life, one experience, one moment that you could feel so grateful for if you wanted to. A magic moment, a sacred moment, a sexy moment, a beautiful moment, a loving moment, any moment that really you could feel grateful for if you wanted to right now. And then step into that memory for a minute. Like step in your body as if you were there. See what you would have saw then as if you're there or hear what you'd hear back then or breathe the way you were breathing back then. And if you fill up with that sense of gratitude for that moment, how do you smile when you feel so grateful or so thankful? What's the look in your eyes? How do you breathe? What's the look in your face when you feel really, really grateful? And just fill it up, fill up with gratitude. You can't be fearful and angry simultaneously. So fill up with the gratitude. Now think of a second moment you could feel truly grateful for. And again, breathe deep in your heart. Feel that power. And just think of any other moment. It could be from your childhood or adulthood. It could be last week. It could be today. It could be 10 years ago. Any moment that you could just truly feel like that was grace. That was magical. That was beautiful. That, that's magnificent. Something that gives you the feeling of tremendous gratitude if you really focused on it. Breathe it, feel it, enjoy it, fill up with gratitude. And then finally, think of a third moment you could feel truly grateful for. Step in it, see it, feel it, be there. Feel the gratitude. What were you so grateful for? What are you grateful for? And then maybe throw one extra one in. Think of a coincidence. You know, we all love when life happens for us, not to us. We love coincidences because we didn't do anything. Something happened for us. You were going to do one thing and you met somebody that you developed a partnership with or became a friend or a lover or the love of your life or maybe a business opportunity came from a coincidence or an insight came from a coincidence that's been so valuable in your life, something you're grateful for. What's the coincidence that led to something you're so grateful for? And feel the gratitude for that. Was it a coincidence or were you guided? Hmm. Now, as you breathe in your heart, you've been doing this for about two minutes. Keep breathing. Keep feeling it, feeling grateful. Let's use this state to solve the problem state. So the easy way to do that is, is keep breathing in your heart. Stay out of your head, in your heart. And think of that situation that's unfinished business that stressed you out in the past. But keep breathing in this beautiful state and ask yourself this question. Ask yourself, all I need to focus on in that situation, all I need to focus on, all I need to remember is what? Your heart knows. All I need to focus on, all I need to remember, all I need to do in that situation is what? Your heart knows the answer. All I need to focus on, all I need to remember, all I need to do is, and then your heart probably knows the answer. I've done this a million times. Not every one of you, but... In a normal room, I'd have some people say, raise your hand if you've got that answer. And 98, 99% of people usually do, even with this simple technique. And you know what to do, what's next. 